Today, I'll walk you through how to improve your 404 page template in WordPress. And we'll cover two different methods so you can pick the one that works best for you. So if you're ready, let's dive in. So basically a 404 page is simply a page not found. So the user came to your website and they went somewhere that is just not on your site. A lot of times when somebody lands on a page like this, especially one that looks like this, then they're more likely to leave your website without even doing anything. That causes a higher bounce rate and they just don't find what they need. Instead, what you can do is take that page, make it a little bit more user friendly, something like this where, hey, we didn't find what you're looking for, but man, we have all this other great information for you. So maybe take a look at that. Maybe you can find something that you're looking for with that. So let's go through the two different methods that you can do. The first method is by not using any code. Instead, we'll be using a plugin called Seedprod. Seedprod is the best landing page builder out there. And what they do is a great job of customizing your 404 page. Now, note you can do a lot with Seedprod's free version, but to do the 404 page template, then you'll want to install the pro version or higher. To get started, you just want to head over to Seedprod and we'll have a link in the description below of how you can get a discount with Seedprod. Once you log in and create an account, you'll simply want to log in, head over to Seedprod and download the plugin. Once you're here, you also want to copy your license key and then let's head back over to our WordPress dashboard. From the dashboard, we want to head over to plugins, add new. And from here, we want to upload a plugin. You can either choose file and go find it on your desktop, or if you're like me and you have the plugin downloaded at the bottom, you can just left click, drag it up, click install now. You also want to make sure you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Now we'll be taken to this page where we can paste in our license key and verify the key. Once it verifies, we'll see that we have a, license, a valid license key and we can get started. Now that we have this here over on the left, we now have this tab here. So let's go to pages. And you see all of these templates that you can choose from if you're in coming soon mode or if you're taking your site into maintenance mode, you can do that. You can even customize your login page. But for this one, we want to set up a 404 page. So let's just click on the 404 page setup. And here are all of the templates to choose from. You'll want to pick one that works really well with your style and the theme of your website. For this one, we'll just do the oh no 404 page and you can even preview it if you want, but we're gonna go ahead and click on it so we can start customizing it. Great, and right out of the box, it gives you a few items that you can change. You can change out the picture here by clicking on it. You can change this out. You can delete it and then add any others. You have these columns and rows that you can change out here as well. To add a few items, I'm simply going to come over here and I want to bring over a headline and I'm just going to put it right here. And we're gonna just say our handpicked guide and maybe we want to change this to view the guide. If you have a guide that you want them to take a look at, you can do that here. You can add the link to the guide here. And a really good idea of something that you would wanna do is maybe bring in your popular articles by views. The easiest way to do that is by using a short code and a short code is just a snippet of code that you use. You'll in, need to enter your short code what we're going to do is we're going to use Monster Insights. Monster Insights is the best analytics solution for WordPress. It connects your Google Analytics with your WordPress website, and then you can see all of the data that's happening in your site without leaving your website. And then one of the features that they have with Monster Insights is you can see your most popular posts. So if we'll go back to our dashboard, we'll go to Insights. If you don't have this already installed, then make sure you check out this video as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to install and connect Monster Insights with Google Analytics. And then we can go to popular posts. Now, don't worry, if you don't have this, then you can pick your popular posts. You should know which ones are your most valuable popular posts, and you can add those in there as well. With this, we can simply go to the popular posts widget. So we want the beta, and we want to save changes. And now we need to embed that. So let's scroll down, and it gives us different ways to embed this. We can display using short code. So I'm going to copy that short code here. And then we need to head back over to Seedprod and enter that short code here. And then you see it will show once we have a live preview. I want to clean up some of this because I want to say maybe some of our most popular posts. I'll put that to the left again. That will show up. And now we want to do maybe a contact form. So if somebody came to our site and they need to get in touch with us, let's go ahead and add a contact form. And you can even search for a contact form. This is 
WP Forms. And so if you have WP Forms installed and you have a contact form, then you can do that here. When I click on this, I need to simply select the contact form that I want them to contact me. If you want to install WP Forms, it is the best drag and drop form builder out there. There is a free version. You can watch this video as I walk you through step by step exactly how to build a contact form for your website. So now we have a nice little area. You can even remove this or change this out to your actual logo for your site. And now we can save this and we can come up here and publish this. So then that means it will be live on our site. So now we can click it and see what it looks like. Great. And now when somebody comes here, they'll see this. You can fix the spacing if that doesn't look quite right. But by and large, this is a much better 404 page. It gives them other ideas of what they can go to on our site, as well as they can easily contact us since they couldn't find what they were looking for. One final thing we need to do is we need to head back over and we'll close this out. And we need to put this in live mode. So right now you see it's inactive. Let's go ahead and toggle it to make it active. And now if somebody goes to our site and they go to something that's not on our page, then this is what they'll see. And now method two involves adding a little bit of custom code to your website. And you'll need to dig in to your theme code. Now, if you want to check out our written article, which shows all of the code that you'll need to add to your website. So you can simply copy and paste this code into your website, into the theme, and you'll be able to set that up. And now make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through step-by-step -step on how to create a landing page with Seedprod. And I'll see you over there.